Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. Jesus Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter, everybody. Today we are celebrating the Easter celebration. It is a celebration because today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And there is a sign of hope, right? In this midst of darkness that surrounds us, in the midst of this coronavirus, there is light. And that light is Jesus Christ. And he has given us that light from the time of our baptism. And speaking of baptisms, we have another one of our elects that is here today. We want to welcome uh, Pit Pai Tun Ki Kim Suk. He's here, and also known as Tony. And Tony's going to be doing his fully initiation into the Catholic Church. He will be fully baptized and then also First Communion and Confirmation. So we're very blessed to have Tony with us today. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together, even at the places of our homes, the places of our comfort, but we gather with faith and confidence. And we have this beautiful penitential right to remind us that we all are in need of God's love and mercy and forgiveness. It's to remind us that we are all sinners, but that God gives us hope in the time of hopelessness. So let us gather together and let us bring to mind our failures, the times we have failed in listening to the word of God, the times we have failed in following Christ. And let us ask our Lord for peace and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter, everybody. I know that's kind of difficult to say sometimes in the midst of this coronavirus. Happy Easter. Rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. When you hear these beautiful Easter uh, comments or refrains that we use every year because this is the joyful, this is the joyous day of the year because we celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, but not only his death and resurrection, but ours as well because Easter is a time to celebrate life, the life that we have here on earth and the life that awaits us in the kingdom of God. For all who believe shall never perish, but shall have eternal life. And Tony, today is a very special day for you. We're here to celebrate with you because that newness of life that we're talking about is now being given to you. Think about all these weeks and weeks of preparation during the RCIA, all those hard times, even during the, the coronavirus, we still met on, on the Zoom and we continued the formation and now the time has come. The time has come for you to enter into that life that we've been talking about, enter into that faith, that belief that God is with us. From the time of your baptism, from the waters of that baptism, washing over your, your original sins, cleansing us, that sense of cleansing, and then giving you the light of Christ. This is a beautiful celebration. And this is a day, Tony, that I hope that you will remember for the rest of your life. It's almost like a new birth. It's like coming out into the light, out of the darkness, into his beautiful light. But it's also a beautiful reminder of us who are cradled Catholic, we've been Catholics all our life, to remind us that we have this light. What are we doing with it? How do they know that we're Christians if we're not living out the gospel message, if we're not shining our light for all others to see, to see that God is with us and you shall call him Emmanuel, for God is with us. So today we hear the story of the empty tomb. What a beautiful, what a beautiful story this is. It's a, it's a story of, of, of affirmation. It's a story of, of affirming our faith. It's a story of, of rejoicing. Because in this time that we've been spending since Holy Thursday and Good Friday and even Holy Saturday, it's a time of, of, of solemnness, a time of, of sadness. Because Jesus had just died on the cross. And we are living that, that life without Jesus in our, in, our, in our presence. You can imagine what it was like with the disciples. But yet he, he had risen. And I love the story how Mary, Mary Magdalene, was the first one to go to the tomb. And when she saw the empty tomb, she ran, she ran to tell the disciples. And there's a sense of running. If you see that, then the disciples are running back. And one passes the other. When they get there, they finally see the empty tomb. They see the cloth that had been laid to the side. And Jesus was not there. The story reminds me when I was an internship. I keep making a reference to my own internship because Michael Coronado is doing his internship with St. Luke's this year. And it reminds me of my internship and something very powerful happened to me because when the disciples got there, they saw and they believed. When did you see something like that? And when did your faith allow you to truly experience God's love at that moment? They saw and they believed. When did you see and begin to believe something in your spiritual journey? On my internship year, it was 2002, and I was 2001, thank you, Michael. It was 2001, and, and I was on my internship year, and I got a knock on the door, and living with Father Jimmy and another priest, two other priests, I just kind of rolled over and said, they're going to answer the, the I'm not going to answer it, they're going to answer it. But the, the, the door kept, someone was still knocking on the door, so finally I said, okay, it looks like Father Jimmy's not going to get up and get it, so i got to get the door. It was like 2 or 3 in the morning. So I get up and I answer the door, and there's my cousin Frank Castillo. And he said, your father has died. And I just remember the feeling of hearing those words, your father has died. And my mind just starts wondering. I'm thinking like, 
but how? How could this be? And I remember going and waking up Father Jimmy, and I told Father Jimmy, my dad just passed away. And he immediately got up and he said, would you like for me to go and bless the body? And I said, Jimmy, that didn't mean a lot to me and my family. So I remember he said, well, let me get in my truck and you get in your car and we'll drive down together. And I just remember we were rushing, rushing, run on down Babcock to Bandera and Bandera all the way to mainland and mainland to my parents. And as the disciples were running, one was passing the other, rushing to the empty tomb. Father Jimmy and I were rushing down Bandera all the way to mainland, all the way to Leon, Leon Valley. And then when we finally got there, we walked in and we saw my father. EMS had just put my father on a stretcher and they already had him covered. And of course, when we got there, they uncovered him. And I walked up there and I saw and I believed that my dad had been taken up. I saw and I believed in the resurrection. I saw my father there and I just remember touching him and holding him and thanking him for being my father. You see, my father wasn't the best father, but he was an alcoholic. He went to Vietnam War and he came back a different man. And I know that my father had his vices, but he also had his heart and he had his love for his children. And I knew I always felt that love for my father. But when I saw my father there, I hugged him and I kissed him and I let him go. And I'm sure at that moment, I felt that his presence was no longer here on earth, but he's there in heaven. That's the resurrection. That's what the resurrection does. That's Easter Sunday. That's what Easter gives us a sense of hope. That when we say goodbye to our loved ones, it's not forever. It's until we see each other again. Because Jesus promised us, all who believe shall never perish, but shall have eternal life. This is that eternal life. Easter reminds us that Jesus conquered death. That we no longer fear death, because death is our entrance into the kingdom of God. For all who believe shall never perish, but shall have eternal life. That's the promise that Jesus Christ gave us. That's the promise that we live by. Every day we wake up, we should be reminded that life here on earth is just temporary. What awaits us in the kingdom of God, that's eternity. That's what we live for. That's what we die for. So my brother Tony, today, today as you experience this beautiful washing and cleansing of the baptism waters, you receive that light of Christ as you're anointed with the oils, as Jesus was the anointed one, he wants you to be anointed with him. And then as you receive the body, and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the very first time. Remember the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, but also remember the promise that he gave us, that all who believe shall never perish, but shall have eternal life. My brothers and sisters, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Today, we celebrate the faith story of our brother-elect, Tony, as we present him for baptism. Will Tony and his sponsor please come forward? Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of Tony and his blessed hope so that as he approaches the font of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on him all his merciful help. Let us now kneel as we seek the support of the communion of saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray.
be present by the mysteries of your great love, and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new people brought to birth through you in the font of baptism, so what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father of God, mercy, through these waters of baptism you have filled us with new life as your very own children. Blessed be God. From all who are baptized in water and the Holy Spirit, you have formed one people united in your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. You have set us free and filled our hearts with the spirit of your love, that we may live in your presence peace and presence. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. You call those who have been baptized to announce the good news of Jesus Christ to people everywhere. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. You have called your child Tony to the cleansing water that he may share in the faith of your church and have eternal life. And may the mystery of this consecrated water lead the him to a new and spiritual birth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue us from the kingdom of darkness, and to bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for Tony. Set him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell within him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tony, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 Father, you have called Tony to this cleansing water, that he may share in the faith of your church and have eternal life. By the mystery of this consecrated water, lead him to a new and spiritual life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, in the community, our, our brother Tony is seeking baptism. We'll now profess their faith. I now ask all of you, especially at home, to join us in renewing your own baptismal promises. Tony, family and friends, St. Luke's congregation, do you renounce sin so you may live in the freedom of ch children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that the sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you all believe in God the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin, crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and sits at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, and we are proud to profess it through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tony, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Tony, you have now become a new creation and have closed yourself in Christ. By now, clothed in Christ and come and stay to the judgment seats of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you have everlasting life. Amen. George. Tony, I now invite you to light the candle from our Paschal candle.
and give the light to our brother Tony. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as a child of light and keep the flame of faith alive in your heart. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet you with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters of this community, join me now in welcoming our brother Tony to the Lord. Today, in a spirit of faith and gratitude, we pray to God for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit over our brother Tony, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to be baptized. May the strength of he strengthen her with his gifts and anoint him to be more like Christ, the Son. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon him to be his helper and guide. Give him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence, Fill him with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tony, be still with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, and I present to you St. Anthony de Padua, our newly confirmed. <laughs> Let us now prepare ourselves for bringing our cares and concerns to the Lord. My brothers and sisters, on this holiest of days, when we celebrate Jesus' resurrection from death to new life, we ask that God bring new life to us, those we love, and the whole world. For the church, that we may proclaim the hope and promise of Christ's resurrection in everything that we do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer, who grieve, who are distressed in mind and heart, that Jesus, who brought unexpected exaltation to Mary Magdalene and the apostles in that first Easter Saturday, Sunday, may give them also a share of his rise in new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all those being initiated into the church this Easter season, that we receive them with joy and share with them our baptismal promise to seek God in all we do and live faithfully as children of the light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are gathered with us to pray, that we may always rejoice in the Lord's resurrection and recognize the salvation he won for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have asked for our prayers, for those whose names are written in our prayer request book, and for those who have died this week, Paul Gerichter, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repulsed souls of Joe P. Saldivar and Robert Quidoga, for Eleanor Morgan, Virginia Polendo, and Jim and Betty Pertru, for Gregoria Candelina, Jesus and Anita Briceno, and Mr. and Mrs. Fred Montoya, and for the fallen souls of Chico Cortez, Edward P. Flores, and Roger Rodriguez, Jr. May they experience the 
the resurrection and the risen Lord on this beautiful day of Easter as they celebrate this time in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. And we pray for all of our victims for COVID-19, especially for those who, who have family who have lost loved ones, and for those who have been infected by the virus, and for those of all of us who have been affected by it. We pray for continued healing upon our world and for a cure for a vaccine to be, to be discovered soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. And we pray for our, our brother Pit Pai Tun Kik Him Suk, our brother Tony, as he is initiated to the Catholic Church, may he always be guided by the light of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. And now at this time, I invite you to go ahead and put your own, what prayers of the faithful would you like to pray for today? We'll give you a minute to go ahead and put it in, the, in our, in our uh, Facebook Live and to take a moment of who would you, whom or what would you like to pray for today? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life and love, you have redeemed us through the sacrifice of your Son. Your generosity with life and love is without bound. Hear the prayers we offer and grant them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 At this time, please be seated. At this time, I would like to make a little, this is what we normally do, our general collections. And I'm going to ask you uh, once again to please uh, uh, be generous. We, we appreciate that. These are difficult times for all of us, and especially here at the church. Since we don't have uh, uh, collections, we're going to ask you to please uh, be generous in the ways of online giving, or if you have the possibility of coming by the church and dropping off your envelopes. Once again, thank you for your prayers, your support, and your generosity. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our good and of all his holy church. Exalted with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wonderfully reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to loud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom ye have summoned before you. And your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleading to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. in eternal life, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The, the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer one another a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray the spiritual communion prayer together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you. I love you above all things. Above all things. And I desire and I desire to receive you to receive you into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot since I cannot at this moment at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come at least come at least Spiritually into my heart. Spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were. As if you were. Already there. Already there. And unite myself. And unite myself. Holy to you. Holy to you. Never permit me. Never permit me. To be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated just for short announcements, as we like to say. Uh, and then they are be short, but I just want to give a thanks uh, to all of our RCIA, Dr. Bob and Harriet and your team for preparing our RCIA. Uh, thank uh, uh, Tony, now St. Anthony de Padua, for being a part of our community and, the, and saying yes to God and answering the call to become one, one with us. Welcome to our family. And thank George, your sponsor, and your family for being here with you. I want to thank Kim for doing the beautiful music. She did a great job with the music. Thank you, Kim. And I want to thank Deacon Robert for being up here with us, too. And, of course, Wayne Romo uh, for, for our liturgy uh, director and Michael Coronado behind the camera. I want to thank all y'all for joining us at home. Once again, uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. And I really truly mean that rejoice. I know we can't rejoice in the way that we normally have our, our big picnics and our big barbecues and our big celebrations. But let's let's not cancel Easter out. We might cancel our family gatherings, we may cancel the big barbecues, but Easter still happens because we just celebrated it. So thank you for joining us today and thank you for, for being with us and continue to pray for us as we'll continue to pray for you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.